Hello everyone, it's Baking Tips by Juju Cakes Event. You're welcome back to my channel. Anyway, this is our first video for the year because we're so busy with all the Christmas authors and everything. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of goodies for you this new year. And once more, I want to say Happy New Year. Just sit right back and enjoy this video. Okay, first of all, my cakes are already layered and creamed so i'll go with my crumb coat i use this crumb coat in place of ganache it's very durable for your cake so if you have any stress of going through ganache and all that you make use of this crumb coat i have a video of it i'll leave um, a link to the description box on the description box how i make my crumb coats crumb coats a quick one is a very easy tips just um the leftovers of your cake you mash them into crumbs, add your cream, whatever cream you're using, mix together to like a little hard than that of a cream. There you have it. Your crumb cut is ready for use. So that's it. Then I head straight. After adding my crumb cut, smoothing it out, then I top it up again with my normal butter cream to seal it all up. Quite easy so nice okay after doing the the final buttercream coating i went to get with my smoothener and smoothing all the cream into the cake perfectly for a perfect finish okay now after doing that, I'll head straight for the, the top part. As you can see what I'm doing here. To just level it all out. It's quite easy and fun doing this, you know. Okay, that we are done with the cream and now we're going to head straight for the top. This one, I'm doing a paneling mode. I'll, I always love paneling my cakes. To me, it's quite easy and saves me more from that, I think, than doing the covering mode. I'll start smoothing, patching out. It's really special. I really like paneling mode anyway. So what I do, just cut out the round edge to the, to the shape of the top of my cake, the size, the inch. A little thicker, like half an inch thick. Then I place on top of the cake. I smoothen the other excess buttercream on it. I just use it to seal it up. So when our... Finally, the final parts of the, the fondant goes in and can stick to it. So I just roll out a very long, thick sausage, as you can see what I'm doing. Roll it out and I make sure I already had the, the size of what I'm going to cover, the cake size, the height, and the, the round size, the width in total. So you can see I've already measured it to my size. And make sure you always have an excess Excess with excess height is very, very important when doing a paneling method. It saves you stress. So when you, you don't do it to the exact size at the end, when rolling, you find that it didn't cover all around. So I had some glue, edible glue again, to the top layer there. So the fondant can actually sit much comfortably. So what I'm doing is I get my smoothener using it to, to hold them up, seal it up so it doesn't pull out. As you just can see what I'm doing. Just watch closely to the video. Okay. So I cut out the excess. Then the inner one as well. Take it out. Then I actually use glue again to seal out the fonda that so the the that can stick perfectly together but whenever i'm doing this sometimes depends on the cake if it's just going to sit stay all right all the way it is like this i actually like making a design to seal up that place to make another design but if it's something you're not adding designs much to the cake body the whole borders of the cake you can choose to just leave it that way but if you are not if you are adding you need to see that you'll see that what i will do later more okay now i get another sharp knife blade whatever you're using so what i do i cut i just leveled my knife i have a video of paneling 
your cakes so it's quite easy it's on my on my channel you can find the video there how to pan it and chop to cut out the asses i have a video there so i have a just use a chop knife leveled it to the top of that and just cut it out that's it you got your panning method now i'm going to go to the beauty of the cake by adding my designs this is actually a princess cake a printout so just print out and had to a fondant and glue it so and i cut to the size you can print that on the sugar sheet if you wish so you don't start cutting again so fondant anyway or a wafer paper anyone you're using so i just got an ordinary printout and stick to a fondant add a glue and cut to the size of my printout and attach to the cake that's all it's quite easy Take that excess, smoothing it out. And I had glue to the back of it so it can stick to my fondant or to my cake. As you can see, there it is. It's well sticked now. That's just it. Then I'm just go with the finishing work like a little designs, whichever you're using. Just make your own designs. Just create something beautiful. It's not really that much of a design. I just use the star cutters, cut the smaller stars, big stars, and just add them to it. Then just create some beautiful piece. That's actually a red modeling chocolate I used today anyway. You can use your red fondant as well, whichever suits you best. So I just keep adding the stars to the cake to bring it more to life. I'm using white and red stars. Okay, as you can see, that's what I did earlier on the back there. If you see, I actually sealed it up with another design to just create some beautiful piece there instead of leaving the lines. That arch line of where you actually cut out your panel image, you see. So I just decided to cover it up to give it another beautiful design. That is it. So the next and the final look of this cake is by adding our cake topper. I'm sorry, I actually didn't make video of that. So sorry, but it's quite easy. Just cut out around. One that if you are using or any styrofoam size flat thing. That's what I actually use. Still, it I covered it again with one that as well. Then I had just the printer to actually made to design that topper. Quite easy, it's not hard. Let's put some of those pretty princesses. Sell it up. Now I'm gonna add some butterflies because the kid actually love butterflies. So I decided to spice it up with some butterflies. Flying all over the princess. Isn't this beautiful? It's beautiful. And it's quite easy to make. It's not actually all that hard. You can make it for yourself or your kids at home. That's it. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's the final look. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate. And if you actually watch to this end, thank you and God bless you. And please do remember to share this video. I'll see you in our next video. Bye.